What's going on guys, Matty G back here with you on Football with Flags, and as promised, we've got ourselves another World Cup March Madness bracket, this time though for the women, and as you can see on the screen, following suit with the exact same guidelines with a number of teams throughout the six confederations across the board to get us to our 64 teams. Now again, there's only 60, excuse me, 46 automatic berths, which means of course we are adding three extra spots to each of the six confederations to get our total number. If you haven't seen our men's edition, I certainly encourage you to go back and watch that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, starting things off with the North region. As you can see, the defending World Cup champions in Spain and obviously winning the UEFA Nations League as well here pretty recently. On a tear, I think it's going to be really difficult for any team to get past them in this region, to be honest with you. And I don't really see too much parity in it uh, throughout these first-round matchups. I think Morocco would have a really decent chance of taking down Austria, considering what they did against Germany in the World Cup group stage. I think that's a real possibility. Other than that, I really don't see too, too many upsets. I think Ireland gets by Uzbekistan. Canada takes care of business. Scotland gets through to the next round. Uh, it's really a matter of who gets down to those last four or potentially that region final, which I think we would see Spain, Norway, Canada, and Netherlands kind of duke it out to see who gets to that final spot. But as we did with the men's, we're going to hold off on our final four predictions until the very end and then show you who, who we've got. All right, now down to the South region, of course, you can see the United States, the number one seed. We've got Germany, Australia, Denmark, Korea. Uh, again, this one, not too much parity in it either. I do believe we would see Portugal and Haiti really put on a good performance. Uh, if Haiti can, can, with the pace that they have, uh, look to maybe dictate play, get forward, counterattack some against Portugal. I think that could be a really intriguing matchup. Uh, as well as Jamaica potentially knocking off Poland. I think if Bunny Shaw and them are in good form, they haven't been recently, uh, but in a one-off game, anything's possible. The opportunity for them to go on and play Germany in the next round would be really interesting. Uh, and then from there, I think, obviously, you know, you look down at the bottom side of the bracket, you see Australia and Germany possibly linking up to see who goes on to the region final. That would be a mouth-watering matchup. Sam Kerr, Caitlin Ford going up against Alexandra Pop and others. I mean, a fantastic game between those two sides. I think the U.S. should probably take care of business um, you know I don't think Korea or Denmark or any of them are going to give them too much fuss on the top side of this bracket uh, but still once it gets down to that championship uh, you know for the region I think that could be an interesting matchup between potentially the U.S. Australia Germany uh, and really those are the three top sides all right, over to the right side of the bracket, we're going to go to the top right with the East region, England, the number one seed, Japan, Brazil. And let's go ahead and get started in some of these matchups. I think the Philippines going up against Argentina in that 8-9 matchup's really good. I think Argentina would still come out on top in that, to be honest with you, but I think it could be an intriguing matchup. Then you look at a couple of these African sides in here as well. Zambia had a really tough stretch in their World Cup group stage, considering who they had to play. I think they have an opportunity to at least play Iceland very well and maybe give them a run for their money and then right below them South Africa we know the pace that they have the talent they have getting forward uh, into that open field could they give Colombia a bit uh, of discomfort possibly I think Colombia would be really tough to get uh, knocked off but still a, a really intriguing first round matchup and then you take a look as things move forward down on the bottom side possibly Brazil and Japan playing against one another in that region semi-final a huge fascinating game in my opinion then you can't forget Belgium being there on the top with England. We know that they, these two teams have met here pretty recently. That could certainly be a good matchup depending on if England are in uh, you know, good form or maybe have a bit of a slip up. Uh, but again, some really good matchups to come down to these semis and region final to see who wins this East region. Now down to the West region, of course, on that bottom right hand corner. I think this one pretty set in stone. I don't think we see too much fuss in this one in terms of uh, upsets, especially in the first round. I think Mexico and Chile is really, really special there in that 8-9 matchup. But other than that, I really don't see a whole lot happening in this one, to be honest with you. Uh, I think if New Zealand gets through, they could really put uh, Sweden in a tough battle in that second round matchup. And then even if Switzerland goes on to face Sweden in the region semifinal, I think that could be an intriguing matchup as well. Just depends on if Switzerland can take care of their chances, uh, you know, get some good looks on goal. And, and defend well against the Swedish side. Uh, but I think France really don't have too many issues on the top side as well. I think they get by Mexico, even though Mexico has given them a fuss, uh, you know, in recent World Cups, uh, as well as potentially Italy, seeing them in the region semifinal. But again, I don't think too much parity in this bracket either. 
And for the final four, I've got Spain out of the North region, the United States taking the South, and in the East, I actually have Japan defeating England in that region final. Very well could go either way, honestly, uh, but I just like the way that Japan can be super clinical at times, especially during 90 minutes. Not saying they are consistently all the time, uh, but I just think in, in this certain scenario, maybe they could take it against England and take them down. Uh, certainly the Lionesses could get there as well, but I do have Japan winning the East, and then in the West, I actually have Sweden taking down France in that region final. Final. Uh, I think just their experience, maybe in some higher, you know, tougher situations, uh, could possibly, you know, be a factor for them. Uh, considering France have never won a major title in anything, um, but still very tough to call. I think France could obviously make their way in there, and there's certainly arguments for other teams in, in different regions as well that could potentially make it also. But that's our final four. I do have Spain taking down the U.S. and the Japan defeating Sweden and then Spain taking it all against Japan. So guys, let me know down in the comments as well your own predictions, who you have in your own Final Four. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. We have plenty more, plenty more World Cup qualifying action and other stuff coming your way soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But until next time, be good, be safe. See ya.